Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's Uncle Mad here. Once again outside getting ready to make some breakfast on the Blackstone Grill. Once again, this is not a paid promotion for the grill. I just really like this thing. This is one of the best things that happened in 2022. So it feels like a good spot to do some kind of the year end look ahead vlogs here. Started off the vlog yesterday out here looking ahead, looking back on 2022, the highlights, the low lights, the best of. Today, we're looking ahead. We're gonna go to 2023. It's right around the corner. What's the channel gonna look like in 2023? What do I have planned? What am I thinking about doing that I haven't fully committed to? That's all what we've got on the docket for today. But first, we're gonna cook some breakfast. The only thing that's really cool for cooking breakfast on the Blackstone is that you can have like one side running hot, one side a little cooler. It's perfect because when you're making eggs, you don't want the heat as high for the eggs as you do want for like the stuff you're maybe sauteing and like vegetables and stuff like that. I wanted to make another breakfast hash. Yesterday, the one I made for me and Nephew P, I made with frozen tater tots. I didn't have any more of those, but I did have some crinkle cut fries. So I chopped them up into like little bite sized, kind of like home fry size potatoes. So I'm just gonna throw those right on the grill to get the hash started. This is gonna be really simple. I'm gonna have a base of the chopped up cream cut fries as our hash. Got the leftover prime rib on my saute. I've really come with this thing loving, kind of just flash heating, leftover steak, leftover prime rib, and kind of integrating it into like an omelet or a scramble or a hash. It's a really good use if you have leftover steak and stuff like that, because often that's like one of the harder things to reheat or reuse like steak, beef, any kind of thing like that. It tends to dry out or get overcooked, but you can just kind of slash that down, give it like 30 seconds to get back up to heat and mix it in with your eggs, potatoes, whatever else. And it works really good. At least I found, to each their own. So in 2023, what can you expect to see here on the channel? Well, I mean, I'm gonna be cooking a lot. I'm getting more and more use out of this. I'm finding more and more ways to utilize this. So I'll probably do more cooking videos. Those don't get a lot of views, but I like doing them, so who cares? Uh, you know, obviously we'll still be going to Nissan Stadium for Titans games, although tonight I'm going to the Cowboys game, which I think has a very good chance to be the last home game of this season because I don't think the Titans have a good chance to beat the Jaguars next week, which would knock them out of the playoffs and then there'd be no further games at all. But if somehow the Titans pull off a miracle and can beat the Jaguars next week, we would get one more home game. So that'll be a 2023 vlog if that happens. I don't think it will though. Uh, obviously, we'll be at Geodis Park a ton. The season's starting much earlier this year in terms of home games. Last year, we didn't have our fir first home game till May due to the construction of the stadium. This year, February 25th, right around the corner, we have our first home game with Nashville SC. We'll be going to those throughout the year because the season goes almost the entire year. We'll be at Geodis Park even before Nashville SC starts their season because the She Believes Cup and the U.S. Women's National Team is coming here to Nashville to Geodis Park. I've got tickets to that game. I'll be there. I'm going to vlog it, of course. It's like a double header. It's like USA versus somebody. I think Japan and Brazil maybe are in the mix too. Whatever. Two games. It's going to be a fun day. We've got club seats for that, so we'll be getting the kind of nice, full, luxurious experience. And if it's cold because it's in February, we'll have the escape to go into the club area. Looking forward to that a lot. One of the first things that'll be coming to the channel in 2023 though, I've already kind of alluded to it, mentioned it briefly. Next week, Thursday, January 5th? 5th. I will be making my way, of course, down to Orlando, Florida once again, because I'll be participating in the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend. I'm not doing the full marathon, I'm doing the half marathon on Saturday, but I'll be in Orlando from Thursday through Sunday, a couple theme park days, a couple just wandering around Disney Springs, uh, resort type days, but I'm going by myself. It's the first time I've done a full solo trip. I've had periods where I've kind of been on my own before I met up with friends and stuff like this. For this trip, I'm 100% by myself. I was supposed to have a buddy who was supposed to do the races with me, but Disney races are very difficult to get into. They sell out like that, and I got lucky and got through the virtual queue system and got signed up for the half marathon. By the time he got through the virtual queue, there's an emergency somewhere. Everything was sold out, so he didn't get to do it, unfortunately. So now I'm going down by myself, but it'd be an interesting experience being down there by myself for the first time ever for like a full three to four days of just me flying solo down in the hotbed of theme park entertainment. So we're going to Universal one day. I am going to Disney World. I was very reluctant to go to Disney World because the ticket prices have just gotten so insane. Like a one day ticket was almost $300, but 
I got some gift cards for Christmas and some other cash considerations that came in that were able to cover that one day ticket. So I figured it's probably maybe the only day I'll go to Disney this whole year. So give it a shot since I have the gift card and stuff anyway. So that'll be one of the first vlog series you will see on the channel in 2023 coming up next week. But before we even get to that, January 1st, likely the first vlog you'll see at all this year, will be Jesta and I going to Eastside Bowl, a relatively new venue here in the Nashville area. It's in that old Kmart. If you're familiar with Nashville at all, there used to be a Kmart that was kind of on the dividing line between Madison and Inglewood. There's a Kmart right in the middle. Closed for years, recently reopened as Eastside Bowl, which is kind of one of those more modern, kind of fancy bowling alleys, but it also has a concert venue in it too, kind of like Pinewood Social, uh, Brooklyn Brawl. I don't know if it's as fancy or as highbrow as those, but my so-called band, a local 90s cover band that we've been going to see for years is playing their annual New Year's Eve show there. For years, they always played at either Cannery, uh, Cannery Ballroom or Mercy Lounge, but that venue is currently closed, but maybe coming back, but maybe not. Like a lot of old Nashville, it's been bought by new ownership and it's not 100% clear what new ownership is going to do with it, but that is our plan for New Year's Eve, is to go there and enjoy some great 90s cover songs like we have in the past. We should make for a great night New Year's Eve. We actually bought the VIP tickets to that, so me and Jessica will be getting quite the nice experience at that show, hopefully. You know her, she's VIP or nothing most of the time, so that should be cool, so stay tuned for that. That'll be the first vlog right out of the gates on January 1st, and we'll go to Disney. But could there be some vlogs in between? And that's something I want to talk about for just a second. All right, almost lost it, but there's our hash. Looking pretty good. Let's go inside and eat this while we finish talking. Ooh, yes, good runny oak. That looks perfect. Oh my, we did good, kids. We did good. Let's try a quick bite of the hash before we move on to talking about what I wanted to talk about, about my big idea for 2023 is, get it here, bone apple teas. Mm. Great way to start the day. All right. So what is the big idea for 2020, 2023? What's the thing I've been alluding to, kind of referencing, hinting at, but haven't kind of fully pulled back the curtain on? I am considering, and the reason I haven't kind of outright said this yet is because I'm not 100% committed to it yet. Even though we're only like a few days away from 2023 and I probably should decide if I want to do this or not. I am considering daily vlogging in 2023. A new vlog, I shouldn't say new vlog, because I don't think I can do a new vlog every day, but a new video, a new piece of content every single day in 2023. So, could be vlogs, could be live streams, could be shorts, I mentioned yesterday, maybe I'll try to do more of those this year, but trying to get at least one type of YouTube content out every single day in 2023. I've been thinking about this for a while. Not that I think like I need to do it or it's something that I would excel at, but I want to do it as more of like a challenge to myself. Just to see if I like to do things like that, to challenge myself just to be like, hey, here's something crazy that you don't necessarily have to do, but you want to do. Like last year, I did try to do no beer this year. Made it to April. That was pretty good. I don't know how long daily vlogging could go. I don't know if I can make it to April. So right now, I just think stand. I've got videos plotted out all the way through at least January the 1st. I can probably get a video out January 2nd of New Year's Day shenanigans, just whatever we're doing, lounge around the house, hanging out on New Year's Day. But you get to January 3rd and that's where it's like, holy crap, what would I do for a vlog that day? The festive season's over. It's before I go to Orlando for the marathon weekend. Doing my, what am I going to vlog? What am I going to do those days? And here's where the other challenge comes in that I'm thinking about that could make it hard for me to do daily content. And it starts right away when I go to Orlando. When I travel, I don't like to edit and post while I'm traveling because I don't like to take time away from my vacation. You know, if I'm down in Orlando and I'm hanging out at Universal Studios, I don't want to go, oh, it's five o'clock. I need to block two hours to do some editing, let me leave the parks now and go home and edit and post a video. 
I want to enjoy every minute of my vacations, my travels that I possibly can. I don't want to take time out of my enjoyment to sit down and edit because editing can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours depending on how involved the particular video I'm working on is. It's especially the same thing when me and Jessica go on our vacations together. I hate, I don't want to waste any of the time that we have on our vacation editing. So that's like, so if I weren't going to post any new content from what I'm filming while we're on vacation, when we go to, you know, our Bahia trips, that's a full week where I would have to have stockpiled videos to go in place of anything we're doing while we're traveling. So I'd have to have seven, maybe eight videos preloaded, pre-ready to go before we left town. So that could be a big challenge in daily, daily content producing. That's one thing I forgot to mention. We will have another Bahia trip coming up this year, I believe. We're definitely planning on going back to the Dominican Republic this year for our usual November trip. We may add in a late spring, excuse me, trip as well. I uh, just as paid off the Privilege Club package that she initially bought. So at this point in time, uh, we're just paying the yearly maintenance fee and it's just a matter of when do we use all the weeks that she purchased uh, and then our contract will be up. So kind of starting to look at maybe getting through those weeks a little bit faster to kind of, as much as we love Bahia, maybe it's time to try to cycle through those weeks, get out of that deal and go see what other resorts have to offer. So that's something else that will be coming to the channel in 2023. One, potentially two, Bahia Resort Vacations. I'm interested in those because those do really well. And like I said yesterday, I think maybe it's because there aren't a lot of people doing YouTube videos for those resorts. So when people are going and looking for YouTube, me, maybe I'm coming up more than others just because there's not many other people vlogging that down there. But that's a side thing. That's the whole point of those will be going there. But what will I do for filling those days with videos coming out live while I'm down there enjoying my vacation? I don't know. That'll be something we'll have to address at that time. But I mean, I'm immediately going to have to figure it out pretty much next week because if I go four days to Florida, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if I don't want to post any new videos while I'm down there, I have to have four videos preloaded and ready to go before I even leave Nashville. So like I said, it's an idea. It's something I'm wanting to try. I might not even make it to January 3rd before this completely falls apart, but it's something that I've been thinking about for a while, thinking about trying, wanting to give it a go. Uh, if you're newer to the channel, when I started the channel, it was April 1st, 2020, which is crazy. Insane. I like, I, I can't believe I actually started this YouTube channel on April 1st, April Fool's Day, in the midst of the global pandemic. The craziest possible day and time to start a YouTube channel. When I started, I was posting videos every single weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I added Catterday, so I was posting six videos a week. And at a certain point in time, I got it, I went back to work, things kind of started to get back to normal. It's crazy that I was posting six videos a week at the point in time when there was nothing to do. There was no sporting events, there was no concerts, there was no, literally nothing in the world was happening because everything was shut down and I was somehow finding a way to put out the video six days a week. Probably weren't the best videos. I will probably never go back and look at those because they'll probably make me sick to my stomach, but nonetheless, I was doing it then. So when I went back to work, when things started to pick back up, I switched to a three day week schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday on Saturday. And then eventually it felt like I was forcing videos. I was doing vlogs that weren't good, that didn't have a high quality, just to make sure I kept the schedule. So that's when I switched to just, if I had a video, I put it out. If I didn't, I just didn't put anything out. So I worry that if I try to go back to daily, I might get back into that rut where I'm making videos that aren't good quality, that are just, you know, I feel like, oh, it's Tuesday, I forgot to do a vlog, what can I video together real quick, let me go to Jersey Mike's and eat a sandwich and call it a sandwich review video, that type of stuff, you know. I don't think my normal vlogs are like the highest quality stuff in the world, like I would say maybe my best vlogs are like a B plus maybe, but that doesn't mean I wanna like oversaturate the channel and start putting out like Fs and D minuses, so. Something I'm thinking about, I'm going to try it out of the gates starting in January to do daily content. Like I said, it could be vlogs, could be just posting a short, I'll check that and say that counts. Could do a live stream. I enjoy doing the World Cup live streams I did this year. I'll probably do some more of that for Nashville SC, um, for more of that for the Titans once they kind of come back next August. I'm um, kind of looking at off-season stuff too, draft free agency as well with the Titans. I'm excited for this Nashville SC season because with the new Apple TV package, I feel like I'm finally going to get the chance to get more engaged with the MLS at large. Like I've gotten really comfortable with Nashville SC with a few of the teams that we pretty regularly play, but I don't have the same like 
broad knowledge of the MLS at large that I do of some of the other sports that I followed closer. Like I could probably not tell you a single player that plays for the San Jose Earthquakes. So with the new MLS Apple TV package where you can watch every single game, where they're gonna have like a wraparound show to show kind of the highlights, I feel like I'll have the opportunity to get more engaged and more knowledgeable on MLS. So maybe I'll have more live streams talking about MLS and National SC. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try daily content for 2023. Do we make it past January 3rd? Only one way to find out. Subscribe to the channel, turn the bell on for notifications, and you will see just how far I make it. Likely January 3rd, I'll fail. So watch me fail spectacularly right here on the channel by subscribing. Uh, I've got to finish this breakfast, and then i got to get ready to go to the Titans game tonight. We're playing the Cowboys. Yikes. Uh, I think our whole team is being rested because this game really doesn't matter because the whole season depends on what happens in our game against the Jaguars next Sunday. But one thing that's gonna be fun about the video tonight is my mom bought me, my dad, and my uncle tickets to one of those all-inclusive tailgates before the game, which is perfect timing for to have the game, a game where the Titans are gonna put no effort in to get to go to kind of a fun pre-game all-inclusive tailgate beforehand. Makes it all the better. Dallas Cowboys fans are gonna take over the stadium. It's gonna be a miserable experience, but I'm gonna video and document every single second of it, and that video will be coming out tomorrow. So, once again, subscribe to the channel, bell on for notifications, give this video a thumbs up, like it, give me comments down below. What would you like to see me do on the channel in 2023? Because that's what this whole video is about. What am I gonna do in 2023? What are your thoughts? Tell me what you wanna see more of, what you wanna see less of. What's something I've never done on here that you'd like to see me do, within reason? I mean, I'm not, probably not gonna travel to like Egypt or anything like that, but within reason. Let me know in the comments down below. And one last thought. I kinda talked about the growth of the channel on yesterday's video and how crazy it is to me that I never expected the channel to have more than like, I don't know, 25 subscribers and now we're knocking on the door of a thousand, which is crazy. So it'd be pretty cool if in 2023 we could hit it, get it over that last little hump, get to a thousand subscribers. So if you got friends who you think would like the channel, feel free to pass it along to them, share the link, share the videos. Appreciate all the support, appreciate all the new people who came along in 2022. Only gonna go upwards and onwards and have more to come in 2023. Thank you, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. It's getting cold because I was talking so much. Get it on the fork. Special tag on to the end of this. One last Christmas gift just came in for me. Jesta bought me the set of pajamas that Clark Griswold wears in Christmas vacation when he crashes through the attic roof. She's the best. I love her.